In this video, I teach how to add a dormer to an existing roof in Sketch and how to merge it into an existing main roof. To add a dormer, I select it from the roof drop down or use the hotkey E. You can see the dormer added to my cursor. It's really just a small gable roof. I bring my cursor to where I want the dormer added along the edge of the roof until it snaps. Then I click the mouse button to place it. Xactimate opens a window that allows me to define some of the dormer measurements. I can adjust the eave height, slope, and overhangs. The slope defaults to the slope of the main roof I'm attaching the dormer to. For this lesson, I leave it as is. For this example, I adjust the eave height to 5 feet and leave the overhangs at 6 inches. I click the OK button and the dormer is placed, but I'm not quite done. I still need to merge it into the existing roof, but as it is now, it's too short. So to do this, I click, hold, and drag the handle on the back of the dormer toward the main ridge line and release the mouse button when it's close. I'll know if I went far enough when I see the valleys at the back of the dormer as shown here and the back of the dormer forms a peak. With the dormer correctly merged, I can adjust its size. For example, if I want my dormer 5 feet wide, I click, hold, and drag the handle to where I can type 5 into the dimensions box. Let's say that I want the dormer to be 6 feet long. Here it's important to note that you must make any adjustments to the length from the front of the dormer. Making adjustments from the back will throw off the measurements I entered when I merge to the main roof. I click on the dormer to see all the handles and click, hold, and drag the bottom handle and type 6 into the dimension box to make it 6 feet long. Now my dormer is placed where I want it and the dimensions are correct. I'll create another dormer but using a slightly different method. Once again I can use the hotkey to load the dormer onto my cursor. This time, instead of attaching it to the front edge of the main roof, I line it up with the existing dormer. The dormer adjustment window opens again and I change the eave height to 5 feet on this one as well and leave the other dimensions alone. I'll click the OK button. Now, as I did previously, I click the back handle and drag it toward the ridge line, but notice that this time it's not coming to a point. Let's open the properties for this dormer to see what's going on. There is an option in properties called eave height. I just set this to 5 feet when I place the dormer, but the properties show it at 6 feet 11 inches. This will change according to how high on the roof the dormer is placed. So what's the difference between the eave height when I place the dormer and the eave height in the properties window? I can explain this best in 3D mode. You can see that the newly placed dormer is taller than the first one. When I typed 5 feet for the eave height when the dormer was placed, I was telling Xactimate that it's 5 feet from this corner here to this corner here. However, the number in the properties window is the height from this corner here to the front edge of the roof. To avoid this confusion, it's always best to place the dormer on the front edge of the roof as I demonstrated with the placement of the first dormer. So to fix this second dormer, I can go into the properties and change the eave height to 5 feet that I wanted in the first place. You can see that it allows a proper merge. I might need to pull the top handle up closer to the main ridge line to make it match the other dormer. Now I can finish it off by setting the length and width to match the first dormer. You should now feel comfortable in adding dormers to your sketch. Fill out the survey below to let us know if there's anything you would like to learn more about. And be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more expert tips each week.